so hi everyone this is jay your instructor for computer networks and in this session we will discuss the second type of the sliding window protocol that is selective repeat there is a one sender a and receiver is b and in the selective repeat protocol the window of the sender will be same as the window of the receiver so you can see that the size of the sender's window is 3 so receiver's window will also be 3 so a will send packet which is packet 0 b will receive packet 0 as it receives the packet 0 the window at the receiver's side will slide so for the next time it is expecting 3 packets which is 1 2 and 3 then a will send the next packet which is packet 1 b will receive the packet 1 so window will slide and a will send the next packet which is packet 2 and b will receive the packet 2 and it will slide to 3 4 and 5 after some time b will send the acknowledgement for the received packet 0 that is sek 1 and as a receives the sek 1 it finds that okay the packet 0 is received successfully so now i have to send the next packet so window at the sender side will slide and a will send the next packet which is packet 3 as b receives the packet 3 so the window at the b side will slide so what is the current position of the sender's window the current position of the sender's window is at 1 2 and 3 so from the current position of the sender's window we can know that how many packets are in transmission and those packets are not acknowledged yet so packet 1 2 and 3 are in transmission currently and we have not received any acknowledgement yet and what is the current position of the receiver's window there is 4 5 and 6 so from the current position of the receiver's window you will know that which sequence of packets the receiver is expecting next so for the next time receiver is expecting packets 4 5 and 6 so for the received packet 1 we will send the acknowledgement 2 as a receives the acknowledgement 2 it finds that okay packet 1 is received so now window will slide and a will send the next packet which is packet 4 as b receives the packet 4 the window will slide and b will send the next acknowledgement for the packet 2 which is sek 3 as a receives the acknowledgement 3 it finds that packet 2 is delivered successfully so it will send the next packet which is packet 5 and window will slide now after some time b will send the acknowledgement for the received packet 3 so sek 4 will be sent a will receive acknowledgement 4 so window will slide to 4 5 and 6 so a will send the next packet which is packet 6 as b receives the packet 6 the window will slide so now it is expecting the packet 7 a b will send the acknowledgement 5 for the packet 4 so window at the sender side will slide so next packet will be sent is 7 and b receives the packet 7 so you can see that the window has slided out so b is expecting no packet anymore but a has not received all the acknowledgement so it will wait for the acknowledgement so right now the what is the current position of the sender's window that is 5 6 and 7 so 5 6 and 7 packets are in transmission currently and a has not received any acknowledgement for those packets so after some time b will send the acknowledgement for the received packet 5 that is sek 6 and as a receives sek 6 the window will slide so a has no new packet to send but it will still wait for the acknowledgement after some time b will send the acknowledgement 7 for the packet 6 as a receives the sek 7 it knows that packet 6 is delivered successfully so window will slide and after some time B will send the acknowledgement 8 and as A receives the acknowledgement 8 it finds that all the packets are delivered successfully. So this is how the selective repeat protocol works. But in this example we have considered that there is no data loss or there is no acknowledgement loss. Now let's see what happens when there is 
a packet is lost in the channel so we are taking the same example that this is the selective repeat protocol and the size of the sender's window in the receiver's window is 3 right a will send the packet that is packet 0 b will receive the packet 0 so window will slide b will send the acknowledgement that is window will slide then a will send the next packet that is packet 1 as b receives the packet 1 window will slide and a will send the next packet that is packet 2 as b receives the packet 2 so window will slide after some time for the received packet 0 b will send the acknowledgement that is ack1 as a receives the acknowledgement it knows that packet 0 is delivered successfully so window will slide and a will send the next packet that is packet 3 now suppose this packet is lost in the channel so window at the receiver side will not slide because receiver is expecting packet 3 but that packet is lost after some time a will receive the ack2 as a receives the ack2 it finds that packet 1 is delivered successfully so a will send the next packet that is packet 4 now the window at the b side will be stay here but b is getting out of order packet it means that b is expecting which packet the packet 3 right but it is getting which packet the packet 4 but because it is getting packet 4 that is out of order b will not discard that packet it will keep that packet so b will keep that packet and it will still wait for the packet 3 after some time a will get the acknowledgement for the packet 2 which is ack3 and window will slide and a will send the next packet which is packet 5 still b has not received the packet 3 so window will not move but it is getting the packet 5 now the packet 5 is out of order but that packet 5 is still part of the receiver's frame so receiver will accept that packet it will not discard that packet so a will wait for the acknowledgement for the packet sent so we know that a will not get any acknowledgement for the packet 3 because it is lost in the link but it will get the acknowledgement 5 as a receives the acknowledgement 5 the window will not slide at the sender side but from the ack5 a will know that okay the packet 4 is received successfully but a doesn't know that what happened to packet 3 after some time a is still waiting for the ack4 but it will get the ack6 still the sender's window will not slide now as the a receives the acknowledgement 6 it will think that okay packet 5 is also received successfully but uh, i don't know what happened to packet 3 now we know that it is the automatic repeat request so after sending every packet there is a timer so after the timer is out and acknowledgement for packet 3 is not received so a will send the packet 3 okay as b receives the packet 3 the window will slide and b will send the acknowledgement that is ack4 and as host a receives the acknowledgement 4 it confirms that okay packet 3 is delivered successfully so a will send the next packet in the sequence that is packet 6 so what is the advantage in the selective repeat protocol the advantage in the selective repeat protocol is that whenever any packet is lost we are not sending the whole frame again we are sending only that particular packet which is lost in the link so that is the biggest advantage in the selective repeat we have seen in the go back end we have to send the whole frame again but that is not the case in this method so now let's consider a situation where acknowledgement is lost in the channel so in the selective repeat we know that the sender's window is equal to receiver's window so size of the sender's window is 3 and receiver's window is also 3 a will send the packet that is packet 0 b receives the packet 0 as it receives the packet 0 the window will slide and a will send the next packet which is packet 1 b will receive the packet 1 so window will slide 
A will send the next packet, packet 2, and window will slide at B. B will send the acknowledgement. So for the packet 0, it will send the ACK1. As A receives the ACK1, the window will slide, and A will send the next packet, which is packet 3. As B receives the packet 3, the window will slide, and after some time, A will receive the acknowledgement, window will slide. Now, the current position of the A's window tells us that how many packets are in transmission and those packets are not acknowledged. So, 1, 2 and 3 are in transmission currently and those are not acknowledged. And receiver's window tells us, and receiver's window tells us that which packets it is expecting for the next time. So, it is expecting 4, 5 and 6. After some time, A will receive acknowledgement for the packet 1 that is SEK2. As a receives the SEK2, the A will send the next packet which is packet 4. B receives the packet 4 and after some time A will receive the acknowledgement 3. As it receives the acknowledgement 3, so A will send the next packet. So window will slide and it will send the next packet which is packet 5. B receives the packet 5, so window will slide. Now after some time, a will wait for the acknowledgement so b will send the acknowledgement for the packet 3 and suppose that acknowledgement 4 for the packet 3 is lost in the channel so a's window will not move because it is expecting acknowledgement for the packet 3 after some time a will receive the acknowledgement for the packet 4 which is ck5 still a is expecting acknowledgement for packet 3 but it is getting acknowledgement for the packet 4 which is ACK5. So when a receives the ACK5 it thinks that okay the packet 4 is delivered successfully but right now I don't know what happened to packet 3. So let's wait more. So a will wait more and a will receive the next acknowledgement for the packet 5 which is ACK6 and a is a receives ACK6, it will again think that okay, I'm receiving acknowledgement 6, so packet 5 must be delivered successfully. But what happened to packet 3? So, because it is ARQ, so A will wait for fixed amount of time after sending every packet, and if it is not getting any acknowledgement, so A will send that particular packet again. So, it will wait for the timeout time, and after waiting for timeout time, if A has not received acknowledgement for the packet 3, which is ACK4, A will send that particular packet again. So A will send the acknowledgement, A will send the packet 3 again. Now, receiver is expecting what packets? Packet 6 and 7 for the next time. But it is receiving which packet? Packet 3. So when receiver receives the packet 3, it will think that, okay, this packet is already received by me. But I am getting this packet again, so there might be some problem. So let me send acknowledgement again because A must have not received acknowledgement for this particular packet. So B will simply discard that packet, but after discarding, it will also send the acknowledgement that is ACK4. As A receives the acknowledgement 4, so window will slide, so A will send the next packet, which is packet 6. B will receive the packet 6, so window will slide and A will send the next packet which is packet 7. So this is how selective repeat works when the acknowledgement is lost. Now let's see the takeaways of the selective repeat protocol. In the selective repeat protocol, the sender's window is equal to receiver's window and in the selective repeat, if receiver receives any corrupted packet, so receiver will send the negative acknowledgement. This is not possible in the go back end because in the go back end if receiver receives any corrupted packet it will silently discard. In the selective repeat protocol the receiver will receive out of order frame unless and until they are the part of the frame. And in the selective repeat protocol when any acknowledgement is not received or any packet is not received we will send only that particular packet again instead of sending the whole frame okay now let's see the comparison between the go back and in the selective repeat quickly so in the selective repeat protocol the sender's window and resource window is n in the go back and the sender's window is n but resource window is one in the go back and the receiver is not receiving any out of order packets but in the selective repeat we are 
receive it. In the go back end protocol, neither sender or receiver needs sorting because receiver should be receiving the packet it is expecting. Receiver is stubborn, right? But in the selective repeat protocol, the receiver can receive out of order packet, but after receiving the packet, it needs to be sorted. And in the go back end protocol, if receiver receives any corrupted packet, it silently discards them. But in the selective repeat, if receiver is receiving any corrupted packet, it will discard them as well as it will inform the sender using the negative acknowledgement that the packet is received, but it is received corrupted. So this is it for the sliding window protocol. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.